thought it was a great day. Uh, today's obviously the first day of full scrimmage with the officials. Uh, thought we had good production, uh, especially some guys on defense I thought showed up, some young guys. Love to see a guy like Warren Heron uh, just kind of come up out of, the, out of the ranks and really had a nice day today. Um, on offense, you can definitely see we got a couple running backs. I thought it was held Monty out of it, but James and uh, uh, Melvin really took big steps forward today. And, and fullback Sherrod Cadden again had a nice day as well. So with that, I got out of it injury free. I don't think anybody uh, got hurt except for Warren. He, he got back in there. When you mentioned Gordon, is it his ability to run inside you know, as I th well? Yeah, I think, you know, Jeff, and I know we saw his high school film was all lateral plays. You know, he played in the wing tee, and everything was east and west before it got going north and south. So even last year, I was amazed how well he adjusted so quickly to downhill running. And he still has flashbacks once in a while, and you'll hear Coach Hammett get on him, but uh, he's very, very gifted athletically. This Sam has had a, you know, Sammy weighs over 255 pounds. Um, he's did a nice job in the out of season. Uh, you can really see it in his blocking. I mean, he's holding his own against some DMs that I think are good players. So I'm really excited about Sam's future. You said your quarterbacks have done some good things all along. Was it a little tougher today? It when was. You did the I, 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 I think it was scrimmage situation. The protection wasn't there. Um, you know, we, we really have probably four of our five starters solidified on offensive line, but that fifth spot is it shows how quickly you need somebody to pop in there. And, um, uh, I think uh, just confidence in the huddle. They're light years ahead of where they were a year ago, and, and uh, obviously we want them to always be better, but I think they can continue to grow. The fourth one, are you talking Casey? Or? You know, at that right guard spot uh, oh, okay. and right tackle, probably both of those are – You'd assume Robbie Havistein would have a good shot once he gets in there, but I think Casey Dean is a guy that you'd want in that rotation. Uh, I think also um, Kyle Cossigan has, has been unbelievable. I mean, he never went through winter conditioning. He's only had uh, practices since we started. He didn't practice the first four practices. Uh, he only joined us after the start of spring break, so he's really been impressive. What was the delay for him? He, had, he, he broke his foot during the season, so it was, yeah, okay. yeah, and they just finally cleared him. Like a white popped out there in the end after Melvin had been running so well, it seemed like he had a little extra burst. He did, um, and some holes opened up. I mean, one thing, James, you know, he doesn't need a lot of room. You know, you can get vertical, and I know he wants to. You know, we've got some things designed uh, to get both him and obviously Melvin in the field at the same time, and Melvin in there. And, and you know, it's too bad Jeff Lewis. He'd really been looking good. He popped his hand. Again, I don't think it's so much on the numbers, it's on the production of his skills, you know, and he, to me, he looks better than he was a year ago. He's really, he bounces the ball uh, and makes some guys happen in the open field that I, I haven't seen him run as well as he has right now. Landish has something going on with his hand, he's wearing a club today. Who's that? Landish. You know, Landish broke his hand in the middle of middle drill. On Thursday's practice, he didn't say anything until he went in there after practice, and he's got a broken hand. Not not terribly bad, kind of like Brady had last year. Just just going to need to club it for about two weeks. How about Zagzewski? Zagzewski, he had a, a, a just shoulder got twing, tinged a little bit. Thought he might be able to go today, but his strength wasn't there, and he's had surgery on that sucker twice. So uh, we want to just temper that right now. You hoping to get Jeff back next week, Jeff, Jeff. Lewis? Yeah, you know, uh, he actually practiced Tuesday, kind of aggravated a little bit on the last play of practice. So we sat him out yesterday, Thursday, and today. Hopefully he might be able to go by next Saturday scrimmage. You look like O'Neal had been running with the ones, but Fenton today. AJ's probably had a, as good a two weeks as I, I could ever have. I, I mean, he's just really come on. Um, we actually got a guy that we've, I know some coaches thought about switching the positions, and I said, no, let's just keep him there because he really had never played linebacker before coming here. He's just really playing well, using his hands. He's probably our most, our fastest linebacker. I know Borland would try to beg to differ on that one, but he, AJ can flat out run. What other positions have guys said, hey, let's move him? Uh, like a fullback, a tight end, yeah. When you paired Groy with O'Brien on his first visit, what was it about Groy that you, you thought know, Ryan, that'd be a good man? I just like Ryan. Just from the day I met Brian, or Ryan, you know, when he's, a, I guess, a sophomore or junior in high school, he's just got a real engaging personality. And, and Danny, because you had an older player that, you, you know, you needed to blend in with those players, I thought Ryan would be a good guy. And, mix them around and, and, and he's just got a good personality I think it worked well. Seems like Ryan's happy just being in one position now on yeah. left guard you think? I, I think when we moved him from center to left guard he just found a home you know he'd been bounced around so many, so many times and Bo, and Bo did a nice job and was filling him in at, at different spots but I think he's owning that left guard spot. Is it weird to meet with the seniors and there's only seven of them? Eight it's of unbelievable them yeah, yeah it's a uh, and two of them Kurt Phillips and Brennan Kelly really should probably get a 60 year you know so it's, it's, a, it's an extremely small class the one thing I'm Amazed that you know, I, I, just during recruiting, you look at certain things and you lay things out on depth to show players on campus what to. And, and you know, in, in theory, two years from now, we might have as talented football team as I've ever had. Do you need more juniors to be more vocal then because of a small? Yeah, I think you know, you look at a guy like Chris Borland. He's probably my guess is will be voted the captain. That kind of you know, uh, you know, at the, at the uh, interior line position, Freddie and Groy, although they're juniors, have great leadership skills. Hey,
pad is frustrating. I know Pat wanted to get involved here today. We'll probably let him go full goal next week, but you know he's another guy. Doesn't say a lot, but his actions speak speak volumes. You mentioned Madison as far as being a blocker, being a star, no, but how good of a receiver can he be? If you need to... I think very good. He kind of reminds me a lot of Pose, Jason Posiak. Um, Pose was a guy that you know was really good on the last scrimmage, but he could hold his own in the passing game and. Um, you know, he weighs 255 pounds. I mean, that's a big guy out there running. That's a, that's a mismatch issue for linebackers and stuff. Have any of the young corners caught your eye? Yeah, I tell you, um, I, I, I know I don't know if he's going to be in a position, but Hugs is a competitor, um, very very gifted athlete. He, he likes to mix it up. I, I think Darius Hillary has had an outstanding three weeks. Of, uh, he's really he's very athletic. Great great coaching. Um, uh, you know, dad, mom, dad raised a good one. I mean, he listens to everything you say and, and tries to uh, you know do everything that you ask. Saw Danny was here today. What did he get out of being at practice? You know, uh, uh, Danny's dad came on a visit uh, this time. He didn't come the last time, and, and uh, he was going to come for the spring game, but he wanted to uh, come out here and get around our guys one more time, show his dad. So, just kind of another visit. What's the progress of Devin Smith? Devin Smith, he he actually practiced uh, Thursday and practiced. If you saw the first part of practice today, he just uh, not cleared for full contact yet. Probably will next week.